Battle Angel Alita is an ass-kicking cyborg manga. An animation continued the badassery. Recently, this property was turned into a blockbuster film, with even more amazingly awesome ass-kickery. It seems the next step in the Alita saga is a mobile game. As a fan of the source material, and the semi-competent movie, I can see this as a fantastic continuation of the Battle Angel universe. So let's find out if all this anime-tastic goodness translates well. Alita Battle Angel, the game, is available on Android and iOS devices. Son of a brick-eating, grease-guzzling cyborg. It's another mobile MMO crap fest. Well, that didn't take long. I guess I let my emotions get ahead of my explanation of the game. The mechanics presented here are the same ones we've seen time and time again. Auto-questing with auto-battling. Fine. I won't knock it for its auto-systems, but I will knock it for its poor implementation of copy-clone mechanics. So I pick a character and go on quests of button taps and enemy slaps. My first disappointment is that I can't play as Alita. Oh, how I wanted to relive the high fighting scenarios of the film. This game being an MMO isn't the only reason I'm hatin'. Do youngsters still say hatin'? Well, they definitely don't say youngsters. Anyway, I would have been fine with a MMO. The Battle Angel world is ripe with stories and history. I would relish in creating my very own robotic assassin. My biggest issue with this game is its laziness and mediocre combat. I figured tap combos would be here, yet I did not expect poor input lag and stone-like movements. Alita moves with a robotic grace. These characters move like rusty robos. I'm not even mad at the upgrading, the grinding, or the redundancy. Again, I expected that. But for a game based on fantastical fighting, this is downright disappointing. I might as well talk about the graphics at this point. What in the cluster fluck is going on here? Enemies just appear out of thin air. They could have at least had them drop from above. That would have made canonical sense. But no, they just appear. And don't expect to be wowed by eyeball-pleasing goodness. Expect to be dulled by mediocre badness. Yes, I'm using the word badness. Textures look like they're from a cancelled PS1 game, which is sad, because if this was a PS1 game, developed with love, it could be great. Instead, we are greeted with half-assed polygons. In all fairness, the graphics aren't a total loss. Sometimes they look decent, or sometimes my character is missing altogether. And the environments aren't as bad as the models, yet they still leave a lot to be desired. Does it seem like I'm being a tad bit harsh? Maybe even unrealistic in my anger? I can see why a person would think so. This resentment stems from the mere fact that this game is only here to coincide with the movie. It's not here so we can enjoy a Battle Angel experience. It's here to make money. And boy does it feel that way. The game feels rushed, like it needed way more time in the Cyborg Factory. This game needs polish. It needs care and attention. Clearly it didn't get that. So is there a fun game underneath this garbage pile? Sure, I can see the attraction here. The added boss raids are a perfect example of what this game can achieve. The Battle Angel world has great lore. The fighting could make hack and slash fun. This just isn't the time or place for a real Battle Angel game. Oh, I almost forgot about the monetization. Actually, does it even matter at this point? There's loot boxes, energy, gems, and super VIP. That's all you need to know. Okay, now that I've ranted about a beloved franchise ran through the mud of a mobile flea market, it's time to give this pile of spare parts a rating. Is it a skip it, a ditch it, or a repair it? Alita Battle Angel, the game. The game. Kicks, punches, and screams its way in as a... All of the above. My inner anime geek says skip this lazy cash grab. My mobile game fingers say ditch it. And the person inside me who wants all mobile anime collaborations to be the most epic thing ever says repair it. If this game had more effort, more attention, and just more development, I can see a sliver of greatness. A very, very small, minuscule look into the microscope sliver of greatness. Just keep reading the manga, watching the animations, even re-watch the decent movie, and stay clear of this angel that lost the battle. Side note, this should have been a Honkai Impact 3rd clone. I would have rather played a ripoff of that game set in the Alita universe. But that's just coming from a gamer with a love of badass anime goddesses. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more rant views, and ring that notification bell for video updates. Fun fact, despite its shortcomings, the Alita movie wasn't so bad. I enjoyed it for what it was.